New Zealand is a land of many beautiful and quiet natural places. <laughs> Queenstown isn't one of them. Diving out that way. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it out. People come from around the world to do adventure sports in Queenstown, especially bungee jumping. The gap there from the underside of that little silver the jump pot out there is of 134 metres, which is about 440 feet. That's a long way down, but the sport must be fun. There are many people waiting for a chance to do it. What do they feel like before a jump? I'm so ready. <laughs> Bring it on. I'm getting excited, actually. Five, four, three, two, one. If you like exciting adventure sports, New Zealand is the place to do them. New Zealand people have a very immediate lifestyle a lot of the time, and that's what people can experience when they come here. Riding in a jet boat is a special experience. It's yet another New Zealand adventure invention. There's no propeller, so the boats can work in shallow water. These machines, you can spin them on a dime. <laughs> jet boats were especially designed to get around New Zealand's shallow rivers, but they're also really good at giving customers a thrill. This is one of the number one pastimes for people coming to New Zealand, more importantly, probably Queenstown. In New Zealand, it seems that nearly every day someone creates another adventure sport. You know, we quite proudly call ourselves the adventure capital of the world. There are so many adventure activities to do here. In fact, we worked it out that if you did one of every type of activity, you'd be here for 60 days. OK, we're off. One of the newest adventures involves a five-hour hike up a mountain. The best part is, at the end of the hike, the hikers don't have to walk all the way down again. Stay up here for 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes, and then we all jump in a helicopter and fly back to Queenstown. The helicopter turns the five-hour hike into a five-minute flight back to the city. These different adventure sports really help the tourism industry in New Zealand. They're also part of an adventurous culture that goes back to the birthplace of adventure tourism in New Zealand, the Kawara Bridge. <laughs> The bridge was the world's first commercial bungee jumping site. I think it's great if somebody else is doing it. <laughs> High wire bungee and bridge bungee are both thrilling and slightly frightening sports. Here we go, Marlene. Leaning forward. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> the people who have to really try hard to jump are the ones who get the most out of it. At least that's what some people think. How was that? I've never got you jumping again. <laughs> Maybe for some people, jumping once is enough. Cheers. Oh, too good. <laughs> ah, ah, we deserved that. <laughs> that was a good one. Ah. Most jumpers are happy that they did it. Here in the land of adventure, the only question may be, what will they think of doing next? Whatever it is, someone here in the adventure capital of the world will be ready to give it a try.